Hello class, this is chapter 1.6 and we will be discussing an example of a homogeneous equation. So this is the problem that we have to solve, x squared y prime equals xy plus y squared. And we can check that this is a homogeneous equation by looking at the x and y terms of both sides. So here the degree is 2 because we have x squared. Now remember that we don't count the derivative terms when we are looking for the degree of the equation. So x squared counts and the y doesn't, the y prime doesn't. Degree here is 2. The degree of x is 1, degree of y is 1, so x plus y, degree of x and y is going to be 2. And if a y squared term here, so this is of degree 2. All our terms are of degree 2 and this is, our homo this is a homogeneous equation. The first thing we have to do is to isolate the y prime term, so we are going to divide every term by x squared. This gets us y prime equals y over x plus y squared over x squared. Okay, and let's make a substitution. A very natural one to make is y over x, of course. So let's write v equals y over x, which is equivalent to y equals vx. So let's take the derivative of both sides, y prime equals vx prime. Let's use the chain rule here. This is just going to be v prime x plus vx prime. So the derivative of x is just going to be 1. Okay, And we have just that y prime equals v prime x plus v. Substituting that into the original equation, what we have is v prime x plus v equals v plus v squared because of our substitution over here. Now, this is going to simplify to v prime x equals v squared. And this looks like something that we can solve using integration. So let's rewrite v prime as dv dx times x equals v squared. So let's move all the v's to one side and all the x's to the other. This gets us 1 over v squared dv equals 1 over x dx. So this is these are both antiderivatives, of course, and when doing antiderivatives of uh, fractions, I like to write it down in terms of exponents. So let's write this down as v minus 2 dv equals, uh, we can do this too, but this is a bit easier on the right-hand side. So v minus 2 dv is just going to be v minus 1 over minus 1 equals, the integral of 1 over x is going to be log x, of course. And let's not forget the plus c. So this is just going to be minus 1 over v equals log of x plus c. So let's, re so let's um, write this down in terms of v. So v is going to be minus 1 over log of x plus c. So we have a general solution in terms of v. But what we want is a general solution in terms of y. So we take this y equals vx term, bring it down here. So we have y equals vx equals minus 1 over log x plus c times x vx. And this is going to be our general solution in terms of y. And that's all there is to it.